No animals were harmed in the making of this film. And now about education. 2007 English Summer School of Ukrainian Catholic University is taking place in Strilke, in Sambor region. Now we turn to Tatiana at the ESS for her report. Hello, Tatiana. Hi there, hi Marichka, thank you. I'm sitting on the window of the uh, building, uh, the dormitory, sleeping dormitory of the English summer school that takes place on a small village Strilki, Star Sambers region. The school is organized for students that want to teach English uh, from uh, Native American English speakers from America, Canada and Great Britain. Um, so what is, what is this English summer school? We have a great chance to see it from inside. Is there any more work besides journaling? What, is that a dictionary? Yeah. It's very cool. It's very small. Remember, you have um, this. Yes. Yeah, I remember. That's for the exam you need to ask. Yeah. So those four, uh -huh. and then you need to know the words that we had the puzzle game with. Okay, so number two, Roman likes to play football. Uh, Roman likes to play football. I am uh, the first time in English summer school and I am very happy to be here. I have uh, a lot uh, of impressions, uh, I met a lot of friends, a lot of foreigners and uh, I, I found that um, not Ukrainians are very cool and kind-hearted and generous uh, and everything is great. Um, my name is Andrea and I am a teacher here. This is my first time leaving the United States and I have been very impressed by the intelligence and the kindness and the creativity of the students here and I love how much they love music and how much they love to smile and I've made an, uh, just an abundance of good friends so it's been very good We are butter with the guns We are butter with the guns We are butter with the guns We are guns and what do you want there? This is our territory. <laughs> no, it's our territory. Oh, if you want to stay, then you have to pay. <laughs> to the spirituality of our students, uh, I am overall impressed uh, and uh, quite positive about it. Uh, of course, each individual is at a different level of spiritual development, but there are things I notice among our students, as I notice at least in Western Ukraine, is the preservation of a certain uh, sense of piety and devotion which uh, back home it exists but it is not as strong as it is here. 
Uh, one of the uh, very positive things I notice uh, is that uh, here people still uh, receive the sacrament, the holy mystery of confession, very, very regularly. In some places, uh, confession is very seldom used, but I think it is an extremely uh, positive uh, reality uh, here in Western Ukraine that the people and our own students uh, do confess their sins uh, quite regularly. It's a mystical sign. The sign itself seems to have a certain type of a, of a power uh, connected with it. All right, well, ESS has been one of the most challenging and simultaneously most rewarding experiences of my life. I've really grown here and I've watched my students grow and learn more English and I've learned about Ukrainian culture. It's been an amazing experience and I recommend it to anyone who wants to learn something about another culture and to teach something about another culture. I mean, I agree with Lois. I think it was interesting to see students grow and be able to express things about their culture to us, uh, North Americans who really had no idea, and it was very interesting to hear what they had to say, and very exciting to be able to see them articulate uh, you know, their culture to us uh, through our language. So I thought that was really rewarding as well. I hope that this English summer school uh, was the best uh, opportunity to uh, study English. And uh, I hope that everyone have fun, so. That's all, folks. It was Tatiana Eremkevich from English summer school. I like that zero. Marichka. I like that. Okay. Thank you, Tatiana. That's all for today. See you tomorrow.